said he would wait for us at the Five Cossum Plaza today. Let's go find him there! Okay. This should be the last day of the Five Cossum. Ah, you're here. It appears everyone has arrived. What a bunch of colorful people. Oh my goodness, look how colorful it is here. <laughs> Uh, how did your investigation go, Kazuha? Last night, I visited a former servant who once worked for my family. I was able to learn the entirety of what happened all those years ago. In my great-grandfather's generation, the Ishin art was tasked with forging an important Goshinto according to an ancient forging diagram. What's a Goshinto? Though all the craftsmen involved were very experienced, the process was still unsuccessful. Every blade that was forged was defective. In what way? I didn't know swords can be defective. When the deadline came, the blade still wasn't finished. So the craftsmen all fled and hid for fear of punishment. <laughs> the Kaidahara clan and Yashiro commission then conducted an investigation. My great-grandfather, and the head of the Kamisato clan eventually tracked down the craftsmen near the seaside. However, they met fierce resistance from the craftsmen, and in the end they were unable to prevent them from escaping by sea. The Kaidahara clan was severely punished for the swordsmiths that had escaped, and the family gradually fell into decline. All because of one, a couple of people. Okay. Moreover, I heard that the head of the Kamisato clan was injured by the fleeing swordsmiths, which combined with his advanced age caused him to pass away shortly thereafter. Oh! No way! Her dad? Oh! Yes. The sudden passing of the family head left the Kamisato clan leaderless. Treacherous people took advantage of the situation and put the family status in the Yashiro Commission at jeopardy. This single incident had profound effects. Even after the position as head of the clan was passed to my father, the Kamisato clan still wasn't able to regain its prior reputation. Oh, so it was her grandfather. Okay, I see. But, thanks to my brother, everything is getting better now. Wait, I'm confused. <laughs> Was it her brother? Was it her her grandfather or her father that passed away? I know her her I know her dad uh, passed away. And uh, when 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 Ayato and Ayaka were very young, but like who was killed <laughs> or who was wounded? <laughs> the failure to forge the blade was ultimately attributed to a lack of required skill and finesse. The Kaidahara clan and the Yashiro Commission always believed that was the case. However, the story of the five Kasen seems to imply that the failure didn't stem from a lack of skill, but rather, the diagram had been tampered with by someone. Eh, uh, saboteur. Miss Kamisato. I heard yesterday that the Yashiro Commission has still kept the diagram ever since the failed forging all those years ago. Might I ask you to do me a favor? Ooh, ooh, gee, ooh. Yes, I understand. I will go back and search for the diagram. Please come meet me at the Kamisato estate later. Mm-hmm. Be fitting that it's raining right now in the game. <laughs> Talk to Ayaka. Oh, there she is. I didn't even know there was a room over here. Hang on. Oh, oh wait. <laughs> I've been in here multiple times and I. S I. What? Thank you. I did not know this. Everyone, I've managed to find the old diagram. Hmm. Though the diagram is well preserved, you can still tell that it's seen at least three or four centuries of history. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty old. 
Is it still possible to find any evidence of tampering? At this point, we can only try our luck and see how we fare. Oh. I can't read that. <laughs> I can't read any of this. What? Oh, they're smudging. Interesting. Although the effect is not too obvious, you can still see that some words have now started to smudge. Kazuha, this is clear evidence that this chart was indeed tampered with. Someone framed the Kaedehara clan all those years ago. I see. But I fear that I've discovered this secret too late. Oh, baby boo! <laughs> Don't be down. When my grandfather was young, he proposed reviving the Ishin art many times to my great-grandfather. But my grandfather was only scolded for being too foolhardy. Yesterday, the former family servant said that my great-grandfather even went to the Yashiro Commission to request that diagram from the head of the Kamisato clan. He then showed that diagram to my grandfather and asked him and his subordinates to try to forge the sword. Sure enough, my grandfather also failed. My great-grandfather then told him, If you can't find the secret within, then the Ishin art deserves to fade from the world. Aww. That's so sad. My grandfather left Inazuma in a rage after hearing those words. He didn't ever see my great-grandfather again, even till the day of his passing. Oh! That is some spite. Looking back at it now, the argument between the two of them was simply meaningless. Oh, what is it with the pain and the animal animal users? Oh, Kazuha. I heard that your great grandfather was very industrious when he was young, but later in life, he no longer bothered with the forging arts. It appears that his failure took quite a toll on him. Kazuha. Did your great-grandfather really say, if you can't find the secret within? Did he use those exact words? Yes. The servant said that he personally heard those words, and still remembers them very clearly. Oh, was he in cahoots? My grandfather was so angry at the time that he smashed my great-grandfather's cherished bonsai tree. Not the tree! Wait, Albedo, are you trying to say... Yes, it appears that you understand my meaning. Kazuha, if your great-grandfather thought that the Ishin art lacked finesse, then after witnessing his son's failure, wouldn't he have said something more along the lines of, your skills aren't sufficient? That's rude. <laughs> but instead he said, if you can't find the secret within, don't you find that a little strange? Yeah, he put, if he used those exact words, then... He wasn't trying to be rude and hurt his grandfather's feelings. Huh? Oh. You figured that? So you're saying my great-grandfather may have very well known that the failure was due to someone's tampering? If he knew, then why didn't he say anything? Yes. The current evidence suggests that is highly likely. I apologize, but... Would you all please accompany me to the Tenryo Commission? Why is it oh why is it always the Tenryo Commission? <laughs> or wait no. It's the Kujo. Never mind. After I became a wanted criminal, the Tenryo Commission seized my family's last remaining estate, which contained all of my family's old belongings. I want to inquire about the whereabouts of those belongings. If I can find them, we might be able to get some clues. All right, man, I'm I'm for it. Let's go. Let's do some justice. Yeah, why is it always the Tenryo Commission doing shady stuff? Like, bruh. <laughs> All right. Hello again. Did you calm down after your fluster? Hmm. What are you all doing here? Did something happen on Rito? Nothing happened, Sarah. We're just here to ask about something. 
Kujo Sara. Perhaps you still remember me. Oh, this is going to be awkward. Yes, I do. You're Kaedehara Kazuha, a wanted criminal during the Vision Hunt decree. However, your arrest warrant has since been repealed. That's good! Sara, we'd like to ask about the Kaedehara clan's property that was seized by the Tenryo Commission. Do you know where all their belongings are now? Yes. The items seized at that time are currently stored in the warehouse next to the police station. Since Kaedehara has come back to Inazuma, those items should be returned to their rightful owner. Yay! No, I'm afraid you misunderstand. I'm not here to reclaim those belongings. I just want to investigate them for a personal matter. I see. All right, I'll inform the police station. They'll take you into the warehouse. Thank you, sir! <laughs> Kaedehara, about the Vision Hunt decree. That's all in the past now, Kujo Sara. There's no need to mention it again. I know you've also had your own convictions and struggles. Look at him be a, a, an anime protagonist. Look at him. My boy is growing up. <clears throat> However, may I ask something of you? Who? Yes? What is it? Currently, I have no plans to stay in Inazuma. As a result, those items from my family's estate are of no use to me. Are you giving it away? Madam Kujo, I believe you are a person of integrity. After our investigation is over, I'd like to ask if you can handle those belongings for me. Please, sell them, and use the money to help the poor. Oh, his heart is pure. All right, I understand. I'll be sure to take care of it. Oh! Gonna stay in the role of a wandering samurai. <laughs> Gotta love him for it. I've already informed the police station. There'll be someone to take you into the warehouse, so you may head there directly. Thank you. As for all the belongings left by the Kaedehara clan, I will deal with them promptly. Okay. You know, even though he's a wandering samurai, I feel like Inazuma will always still be his home. You know what I mean? Even though he doesn't have a um, family home or anything like that anymore. It's still... You know. Ah, uh, you must be here to investigate the Kaedehara clan's belongings. Well, Madam Kujo's already informed me of the situation. Please, come this way. Hmm, going back into the police station. Nice. Ah, uh, the Kaedehara clan's belongings are stored in this warehouse. Unfortunately, the items are scattered throughout in order to save space. My deepest apologies. Okay, we're gonna have to skim through everything. However, I have clearly marked the corresponding items, so they shouldn't be too difficult to find. Well, that's convenient. I'll be waiting for you at the door. Please, come see me if you require any assistance. Kazuha, since the items are scattered throughout the building, I propose we split up and look for clues. Yes, sounds like a plan. Thanks for your help, everyone. Don't mention it. I'm happy to help. Okay. I guess we're gonna look. Talk to everyone. Hey. Okay, we're gonna talk to everyone. <laughs> Ayaka, how's it going for you? Oh, it's you. I'm currently investigating the sword rack. Mm -hmm. Oh, since the Kaidahara clan was a family of renowned swordsmiths, then this blade should be super valuable, right? <gasps> Maybe it's a treasure of the Ishin art! No, Paimon. I'm afraid not. Although the sword rack is made of fine wood, the swords placed here appear to be quite ordinary. Due to the dire financial situation of the late Kaidahara clan, Everything of value has probably been sold off already. Mm. The blade on the sword hasn't been sharpened, but there are many signs of use on the hilt. Perhaps Kaidehara used it for training as a child. Oh, oh, it's <laughs> cute. Let Paimon see. Oh, there seems to be a couple uneven characters etched into the scabbard. Kazu, ha. Wow, so it really was Kazuha's! Wow, so it really was Kazuha's! What was that voice crack? 
That was cute. Paimon can imagine what Kazuha was like as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> I will continue investigating here and call you if I find anything interesting. Okay. On to the next person. Are we allowed? To... Yes, we are. I'll be checking around here. You and the others can start looking elsewhere. Okay. I go to Albedo then. What's up, Albedo? What'd you find? Oh, it's you. Unfortunately, I have yet to find anything of value here. Whoa. This folding screen looks pretty old, though. Damn. Yes. Perhaps if it were better maintained, then it could fetch a decent price. However, I doubt it could be sold in its current condition. Mm. I was taking a closer look just now and noticed a large piece of dirt caught in the fabric fibers on the back side. Oh. The soil is deeply embedded into the cloth. That means a great deal of force was used when the dirt was lodged into the cloth. It's likely that this patch of dirt is from the very flower pot thrown by Kazuha's grandfather. Why don't you think this is a is of any value? Because this is not what we are looking for now. Me? Let me think. If I wanted to leave a message behind, I would probably choose to leave it on something a little more special. Huh. Okay, he has a point though. Albedo seems to be thinking pretty hard. We better not bother him. Okay. Let's go find Vintin and Shincho. <laughs> what are you doing? What'd you find? Hmm. There must be some around here somewhere. Please tell me you're not looking for sake. What are you looking for, Venti? Do you see all these pots here? Some of them are bound to have liquor inside, <laughs> right? Venti, not the time. <laughs> hey! Everyone else is trying hard to help, and you're over here looking for a drink! <laughs> <laughs> I merely jest, of course. Come on, we're close to uncovering the truth now. Why do you look so worried? Well... Paimon doesn't really get why Kazuha told Sara to sell all these belongings. What if we don't end up finding anything today? Then wouldn't Kazuha lose the chance of finding out what really happened all those years ago? You know, just saying. I know you are worried about Kazuha. But if you ask me, he is stronger than you think. Yeah, it is true. Since Kazuha made such a request to Sara, that indicates he's already made his choice. Whether we find out the truth or not today, or whatever it turns out to be, he's ready to accept it. Is this your Archon's intuition speaking? No, not intuition. Rather, I've lived for a long time now, so you could say I have some experience in reading people. Coming from the Animal Archon. Really? <laughs> Leave the things here to me. You two can look around elsewhere. Oh, push the wrong button. Alright, where's Shintro? Uh, uh, Fushizome? Oh. I didn't even see him there. What did you find, Shintro? I found quite the pile of old books. Where are we? Oh. These books here are all related to smelting steel. And these are about the process of forging blades. This pile over here is all about plants and flowers. Ooh. Mm. The books about plants and flowers must have belonged to Kazuha's great-grandfather. Could, could there be any clues in the books? I skimmed through them just now, but I didn't find anything particularly worth noting. I shall take a closer look and let you know if I find anything. Everyone, I've found something that you should all have a look at. Where'd you go? Oh. Oh, seems Kazuha discovered something. Let's go see what he's got. What do you mean? This Bonsai. flower pot was in my house for a long time. I heard that it was left behind by my great grandfather. Bonsai! Yeah, the plant seemed to have been dead for a while now. You sure about that? Well, after my great grandfather stopped studying the forging arts, he picked up the hobby of keeping bonsai plants. Most of his prized plants were given to others once he became seriously ill. Ooh, those go for lots and lots of money. Depending on the age of the bonsais. 
they could be well within maybe thousands to hundred thousands, even higher. But he specifically left behind this dead plant at the time, and even instructed my grandfather not to throw it away in his will. What's in it? My grandfather deeply regretted that he never managed to reconcile with my great-grandfather, so he left the plant exactly as it was. But now that I think about it, my great-grandfather could very well have left it behind for other reasons. Hmm, now that you mention it, this flower pot is kind of suspicious. What do you see that I don't? <laughs> yes. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Oh! We finally found something! Uh, huh? It's only a bunch of blank paper. Oh, Paimon, Paimon, Paimon. Did you not, re like, re did you not learn from the e disappearing ink? Do you think someone already discovered the compartment and swapped the contents? I doubt it. No, I do not think that is the case here. See the paper? It's quite yellowed, which means it's very old. Maybe we need to try using water again. Hmm. You mean to say that these sheets have been written with special ink? Like that which Miss Kamisato found before? Yep. Yes, I agree with this hypothesis. Okay, let's give it a dunk then. There is a pond outside the police station. I'll use the water there. Nothing? Well, how did it go? Those weren't just plain old sheets of paper, were they? Just as everyone guessed, after I sprinkled some water onto the paper, writing did indeed begin to appear on it. Mm. It is a letter written by my great grandfather. Oh. Oh? What does the letter say? Is it something you can share with us, too? It is. I'll tell you what my great grandfather knew at the time, but before that, I wish to take you somewhere. Where? Everyone, please follow me. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Kaidehara, why did you lead us to this beach? Is this place related to the contents of the letter? It is. In fact, my great-grandfather and the head of the Kamisato clan tracked the fleeing swordsmiths to this very location. Our hypothesis was correct. My great-grandfather was well aware of the truth behind the defective blades. And it was right here where they encountered the culprit who framed the Kaidahara clan and the Raiden Gokaden. Who? Okay. <laughs> So if he knew, why didn't he say anything? It reads, To whoever reads this letter, I, Kaidahara Yoshinori, have been held to a certain secret throughout my entire life. I don't have much longer in this world, and after much consideration, I've finally decided to disclose the matter. All those years ago, when I was pursuing the swordsmiths alongside Commissioner Kamisato of the Yashiro Commission, I was not injured by one of the fleeing smiths. Oh, that transition. Rather, it was night, and after the clues led us down to shore, I waited for the culprits to show themselves. However, there were no swordsmiths in sight, only a single eccentric stranger. Oh? This is getting good. This stranger claimed to be <gasps> the one behind the failed forgings, and said that he had been patiently waiting for us. He then threatened to destroy the ride in Gokaden. Oh my goodness. Scaramouche, Scaramouche, will you do the Fandango? That person was of <laughs> able body, and in a blink of an eye, myself and the accompanying samurai had been defeated. Okay, why though? Commissioner Kamisato was severely wounded, and I barely escaped death myself. My hat had fortunately blunted a blow to my head. Mm. The unusual stranger could have easily claimed my life at that moment. But, after noticing my appearance, he stopped his attacks and sternly asked if I had any connection with the name 
Niwa. Oh, who's Niwa? I answered that it was my father's surname. And after my father disappeared, I was adopted by the Kayadahara family. Mm. Upon hearing my answer, the stranger paused. After a long silence, he suddenly said, Tell her this. My name is Kunikuzushi. He then turned and left. Her? Who's her? We know that person's name. Wow. So that's what really happened. <laughs> yes. My great-grandfather and the head of the Kamisato clan escaped from death and learned that the forging diagram had been tampered with by Kuni Kazushi. We know who that is. However, due to the encounter, the head of the Kamisato clan was worried that my great-grandfather would be falsely accused of being involved with the perpetrator. So even on his deathbed, the master of the Kamisato clan cautioned my great-grandfather to never speak of what happened. Mm. Because the perpetrator said he would destroy the Raiden Gokaden. My great-grandfather worried that the perpetrator would still return for vengeance. So, to protect his loved ones, he closed the family business. Oh. He said, as the leader of the Kaidahara clan, I am deeply ashamed to witness the decline of the Ishin art. But as a father, it is my priority to ensure the safety of my children and grandchildren. So all those harsh words he said were because he was worried about his son's well-being. Yes, that's right. If my grandpa had somehow discovered the secret behind the tampered diagram all those years ago, perhaps my great-grandfather would have told him the truth. Unfortunately, he failed to catch any of the hints in my great-grandfather's words. Yeah. Miss Kamisato, it appears you were unaware of the happenings that my great-grandfather described here. What are your thoughts? Hmm. I suppose the reason the head of the Kamisato house never spoke of this to the family was due to similar safety concerns. If the perpetrator was capable of tampering with even the Shogun's diagrams, and could single-handedly defeat many men, then he is not an ordinary enemy. I will discuss this matter with brother shortly, and investigate the identity behind the one called Kuni Kuzushi. Rest assured, we will act cautiously. How are you feeling, Kazuha? To be honest, as I read the letter, I felt much turbulence in my heart. But now I've managed to calm myself. Mmm, I see. My great-grandfather said in the letter that he did not wish his descendants to blindly seek revenge and be deceived by things of the past. Though he was in a tight situation when he wrote these words, I feel like they are still valid nonetheless. I think what's most important for each person is not the past, but the present. Even though we must carry the burdens from the past, there are also things we wish to strive for. Therefore, knowing the truth behind what happened is enough for me. I will live on just as my great-grandfather had hoped. Oh. That being said, if the enemy from all those years ago is still lurking and plotting to stir up more trouble, then I definitely won't turn a blind eye. <laughs> That's Kazuha. Always sensible. These are simply insights I've gathered from all that I've experienced. Thank you all for accompanying me in my search for the truth behind that incident. Great! Now that we're done here, let's head back to Rito! Oh, wait. A blank piece of paper that was hidden in an old flower pot when dipped in water reveals a long-sealed secret. After telling everyone about the truth that was concealed within, Kazuha said that this letter may still be of use to you before handing it over to you. Oh. Who's her? Yours? Oh. 
Okay. Virgin did not. Oh, okay. Hang on. Virgin did not go well with the strangers tampering with her excellency's blueprint. Lord Kamisata knew the significance of this event, but he remained silent, fearing that the careless talk might drag others into what might be considered a treacherous crime. Despite his serious wounds, he insisted that we were, oh, that we were wounded by the fleeing personnel, and advised me to remain silent. I, being eternally grateful to him for his consideration and understanding that the situation is not ideal, decided to bury this in my heart. As the leader of the Kaidahara clan, I am deeply ashamed to witness the decline of the Ishin art, but as my as a father, it is my priority to ensure the safety of my children and grandchildren. If you, the one reading this letter, are a descendant of our house, do not blindly pursue the past foes, or be shackled by the deeds and duties of yesteryear, lest you, you lose yourself. Yours, Kaidahara Yoshinori. Dude. Oh, this is gonna be great. Now I'm looking forward to a Skaramusha Kazuha showdown. Do 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 Hey! Today is the final stage of the Iridori Festival. Not only will there be Shinkyo's signing event, but Albedo's painting of Kuranushi will also be unveiled. Oh. Hello, traveler. Paimon? Hey. Albedo, why is the portrait of Kuranushi all covered up? Paimon wants to see what your Kuranushi portrait looks like. Don't worry. The unveiling ceremony will be starting shortly. You'll see what it looks like then. Okay. I will say that I'm most satisfied with this particular work. I even made a special trip to see someone in order to complete it. They gave me some very valuable suggestions. Things are starting to sound pretty mysterious. <laughs> is that so? Anyway, there is still time before the ceremony. You may have a look around the venue first. Look for your friends on site. Okay. Uh, we'll start up here. I'm pretty sure it's Shincho up here. Oh, I saw white. <gasps> okay, I'm saving that one for last. Hang on. <laughs> oh, here he is. Here's Shincho. We're starting up here. We're, we're gonna start with him. <laughs> Traveler. Simon, it's a pleasure to see you. Did did today's signing go as planned? Indeed it did. Thanks to you, the signing event went off without a hitch. And I must say, the readers seem most satisfied. Mm, that's good. Uh, Shinto, is that just Paimon or are you on the lookout for something? No. Oh? You aren't mistaken, though I'm ashamed to admit it. But in fact, I have been on the watch for tourists from Liyue. Aww. After all, I came to Inazuma under the pretext of evaluating a potential investment. If an acquaintance were to see me sitting here, then there would be no way to hide the truth from my father. Oh, I see. The crowds of readers that came flocking over have kept the usual tourists at bay. Oh, I should mention, Shu is also unaware of the real purpose of my trip. If you happen to meet him, please, remember to keep it a secret. Don't worry, we've got you covered. Then, please accept my thanks in advance. I'm sorry that I can't chat long. There are still readers waiting in line. I get it. I'll see you later at the unveiling ceremony for Kuronushi's portrait. He. <laughs> We're saving those two for last. <laughs> um, this way. Venti? <gasps> oh my goodness, these are two people that should not have met. If you're tired from walking all around the festival, how well, about you sit hello everyone. Hey! What are you two doing together? Don't think we didn't see you two chatting up a storm just now. The moment we came over, you stopped talking! I eat, yeah, my ears are burning. Hmm, is that so? I'm afraid you're just overthinking things. Suspicious. We were merely discussing... 
wine and food. <laughs> I'm sure you two wouldn't be interested. Liar! <clears throat> Speaking of good sides with sake, I personally prefer fried tofu. Ugh, forget it. Even if those two are plotting something, they'd still never let us know. Ten even mischievous people. Well, we'll move on, I guess. I wonder what they have to say, though. Miko and Venti are drinking and chatting in a corner. The empty bottle bottles are starting to pile up at an alarming rate. Oh dear. <laughs> but it seems that they that they've really been discussing the best sides to go with sake this whole time. Drinking buddies. Okay. Last one. Is she what are you doing? Get down. And I guess Kazuha's down here. gonna return so soon? Please don't leave. I love seeing you in Kazuha, game. What are you doing here? Why aren't you at the festival? I came here to take in the sea breeze. Such a bustling atmosphere is never really to my liking. Are you really alright, Kazuha? <laughs> I knew you were still worried about me. How could I not? <laughs> Thank you. But please, don't worry. The things I said in front of everyone weren't just pretty sounding excuses. Look, see this familiar harbor in front of us? Before, you could sit here all day without seeing a single ship pass through. Instead, all you would see were soldiers from the Kanjo Commission, guarding against possible intruders. But now, it's become a bustling place. <laughs> Not only are foreigners coming to Inazuma again, but traffic between here and Watatsumi Island has also been picking up. That's a good thing. Yeah. Inazuma has already started to change, huh? I was thinking, in some ways, each and every one of us are similar to this country. Uh oh? It might take a different amount of time for different people, but there will inevitably come a day when each person can let go of their burdens, and when they finally let go. They are free to follow the wind as they please. <laughs> Don't worry about me. You should go enjoy the festival. Oh, but I want to spend time with you. Please. I love seeing you in game. Yeah, one more to do. Let's go see the Kamisato siblings. <laughs> oh, did I click Kayato's that I got? Ah, greetings, traveler. Paimon. Finally, they're in game together. <laughs> oh, Ayato! We finally get to see the busy. Yep. Yes, there were many things which required my attention these past few days. Fortunately, the Iridori Festival is proceeding smoothly. The Tri Commission cooperated closely to prepare this festival, so at long last, I can take a break today. That's a good thing. Brother and I are very grateful for your help. The mention it. Hmm. Toma sure is taking his sweet time. Oh, you're waiting for Toma? Yes. Today is one of the rare occasions when Brother isn't busy. I was going to buy some books, but he said he wanted to come along. His treat. However, he forgot his wallet at home, so he asked Toma to go back and fetch it for him. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this a thing? Why is this a thing with the... 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 He came in in, <laughs> in Genshin. Paimon didn't think Ayato could ever be forgetful like that. Yeah, me either. <laughs> Brother always works diligently, and it's rare for him to ever put his duties to the side and relax. So, Toma and I really cherish such moments when he's forgetful. I'll bet. It's time for the portraits and veiling ceremony. Let's head over to the Five Costume Plaza. 
One second. The two people talk about various things regarding the Iridori festival while they wait for Toma. You can hear snatches of their conversation. Brother, even if Toma is here, you cannot simply forget to bring your purse. <laughs> I think he just does it on purpose to mess with him. Alright, let's go. Let's go see. <laughs> oh! Everyone, welcome to the magnificent Iridori Festival. Today, we have ushered in the final stage of our festival. And now we will reveal the final portrait of the five Kasen, Kuranushi, which was done by none other than our guest artist from Mondstadt, Calx. Yay! Paimon has no idea what Albedo's portrait looks like. Oh, this is so nerve-wracking. Let's all count down together. Three, two, two one. one. Ni ich. Huh? What's this? <laughs> this piece depicts nothing but a background. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. <laughs> I suppose Calx must have forgotten to include the character. Mm, I don't think so. <clears throat> uh, let's hear some words from Calx himself regarding the creative process behind this piece. Hello, everyone. First, I would like to say that it was an honor to be invited to create the portraits of the Five Kasen. The Five Kasen are legendary figures from ancient Inazuma, famous for their works of poetry. As time passed, poems were composed about them, and they became the subjects of many stories. I learned from existing sources about those stories that the character of Kuronushi is the deepest and most differing of the Five Kasen. Moreover, Kuronushi lacks a dedicated chapter among the stories. It's as if he is a behind-the-scenes role of the Five Kasen. Perhaps we can assume that every creator had a different understanding of Kuronushi. So, in the same way, I also wanted to leave this character to everyone's own imagination. After all, the Iridori Festival is a place for everyone to express their minds through creative works. Hmm. Yep. Everyone's approval. Of course. Well, it seems that our adventures at the Iridori Festival have come to a close. <laughs> Paimon? Are you sure? Aren't you forgetting something? Huh? But what are you talking about? Oh. Oh, right! We still haven't figured out who left those stories of the five costumes for us to find. But I have an inkling of who it might be. Really? First, it's someone that knows every one of us. Well, that makes sense. Otherwise, there'd be no way to give the right paper to the right person every time. Also, they are connected with the Kaidahara clan. Right. Even though they were using stories to hint us toward Shincho's troubles, the real goal was to lead us to solve the secrets of the Kaidahara clan. Oh, <gasps> Paimon gets it now. Well, at least Paimon thinks she knows. Let's go! We'll get to the bottom of this. I wonder, though. Oh, I can't do it yet. Albedo's portrait of Kurunushi. There is no sign of any personage here. Only a backdrop adorns this image. Albedo said that he wanted to leave this to everyone's imagination. Perhaps you two already have some clear idea of what this person might have looked like. <laughs> Um, look for that person. Oh, there's Shincho. Hmm. Welcome home, Almighty Shogun. Nope. Okay, we're going this way. Miko. Miko. What do you mean? I wonder. Sir? <laughs> Ayato! You're the one behind the stories of the five Kasen! But don't you think you overdid it a little? Leaving all your friends on a wild hunt like that? 
<laughs> As it just so happens, one of the reasons I'm here today is to explain the details behind this wild hunt. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I had an inkling it was either Miko or Ayato. <laughs> Hi, Mom wants to see how you'll explain yourself out of this one. Mm. First of all, the start of this whole incident was due to mere happenstance. You see, Lady Yai happened to catch sight of Xingqiu and the editor carrying the books away one night. She thought it was interesting, so she asked me to tease them a bit. Of course she would. Huh? So it was Miko after all! Kaina knew it! This thing had Miko written all over it! Dang! <laughs> I'm good! <laughs> That's right. But using the story of the five Kassen to guide you to the Kaidahara family's secrets was my personal touch. Mm, so that's what you were busy with. As for my roundabout approach, well, that was something which I had no choice but to do. You had no choice? Yes. Due to a certain incident that occurred earlier, I happened to notice the bonsai plants left behind by Kaedehara Yoshinori, as well as the blank papers hidden inside. I knew there was more than meets the eye regarding those papers, but it took me some time to figure out the secret behind the ink. The kind that would only appear when exposed to water. What Kaedehara Yoshinori said in the letter is very important for both the Kamisato clan and the descendants of the Kaedehara clan, especially Kazuha. The Kaedehara clan used to be subordinates of the Kamisato clan. It was my ancestors who were unable to protect them all those years ago. So, now, this obligation fell on my shoulders. I see. Although he has the right to know the truth, the closer he draws to things hidden out of sight, the closer he also draws to danger. I had to confirm whether Kazuha has both the will and ability to be privy to the truth. Of course, I could outright tell him the truth that I had discovered, but maybe he doesn't have the will that's required. In that case, the truth would only become a burden to him. Mm. If he lacks the ability, then he wouldn't be able to find the truth in the first place. In which case, it would be better to keep him away from danger altogether. Kaidehara Yoshinori left his message in a roundabout way precisely for this reason. For a long time, I yearned for a suitable opportunity to convey this matter. Right up until the night when a legend of sword was smuggled away. Why was everyone else involved, too? Yeah! It wasn't only Kazuha! You brought all of the rest of us into this plan of yours! <laughs> I figured you would ask this question eventually. <laughs> I merely saw that this matter would be of value to you. Oh. And more importantly, I hoped that while Kazuha and Ayaka were looking for the answers together, they would have some reliable friends by their side. Wait a minute, wait a minute, were you trying to, like, set up Ayaka and Kazuha to be friends? Is that what I'm hearing? <laughs> it's adorable, but <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> Reliable friends who would be willing to protect them and make measured decisions. Friends who would spare no effort to lend a helping hand in times of trouble. Because it is also very likely that you will face the same enemy together in the future. So, who's Kuni Kuzushi? You already know the answer deep down inside, don't you? Of course I know. <laughs> I've learned for a while now. <laughs> the answer is actually hidden in the portrait of Kuronushi. Oh. When there is no one else near the portrait, you can confirm with your own eyes. Noted. As for the means of revealing that answer, well, you have used it many times before. Sir, you are so conniving, it's not even funny. Ah, uh, wait for night. I would hate slash love to see Ayato and Child interact with each other. <laughs> water on the portrait, right? Yep. I gotta figure that.
Interesting. <laughs> so he was the one behind the trouble all those years ago. I wonder if it disappears when it dries. That would, that would be interesting. When there is no one else near the portrait, you can confirm with your own eyes. As for the means of revealing that answer, well, you have used it many times before. Also, there's one last thing that we must discuss. There was more? I mentioned earlier that the occurrence of a certain incident made me notice the bonsai plants. I wish to tell you of that incident now. It was just after the Shogun announced the abolition of the Sokoku Decree. I heard that something had happened at the Tenryo Commission. They had discovered signs that someone had entered the warehouse storing the Commission's articles of evidence and confiscated items. But nothing was stolen. I felt something unusual about that incident. So I told Kujo Sara of the Tenryo Commission to treat it as if nothing happened. She was not to increase the guard or relocate the warehouse contents. In the meantime, I sent a member of the Shumatsuban to keep watch over the warehouse. And sure enough, someone was sneaking in and rummaging through the belongings of the Kaidahara clan. Mm. You mean, he was also looking for... <laughs> I let him search for a while, but in the end, he found nothing. Soon after, he had to leave Inazuma by boat. <laughs> Why didn't you send someone to catch him? <laughs> the best way to protect a secret is to treat it as if it doesn't exist, is it not? Besides, the identity of this person is not hard to guess. Oh. After he left Inazuma, I carefully checked the Kaidahara clan's belongings one by one, and eventually discovered the papers in the hidden compartment of the flower pot. I am certain that the papers are the secret which the infiltrator sought to find, though he couldn't confirm whether this secret existed at all. So, now on to my final question. Oh? And what is that, my good sir? Which part of Kaidahara Yoshinori's experiences was the secret that needed to be protected? Oh. Uh... Dang, I don't know. The Kaidahara Yoshinori knew that the family was framed. The Kaidahara Yoshinori knew that the culprit was named Kuz Kuni Kuzushi. The Kaidahara Yoshinori was spared by his opponent. I think it's a Kuni, Kuni Kuzushi. <laughs> I don't have an answer to this question at present, so I'll leave it to your future self. Because if that was the case, then wait a minute. But if it was that, if that was the case, then why would he tell him? Tell uh, Kazuha's grand, uh, grandfather, great grandfather, his name. Maybe it was the frame. I don't know. We'll As find for out. Now, please enjoy yourselves at the Iridori Festival. This is all interesting. Oh my goodness! And that is the end. <laughs> Wow. And it's complete. <laughs> this is Albedo's portrait of Kuri Kuronushi. Kuronushi. He used a special ink here to depict Kuni Kuzushi, a secret that was only revealed when the canvas surface touched water. The way Ayato put it, it seemed that the person who tried to fervently search for the scar for the secret was a Fatui spy. But who would want to hide Kuni Kazushi's past? And what effect might the secret have on your own destiny? Mm. Oh! Oh, and it appears! That is so cool! Hang on, that is awesome, bro. <gasps> I like that! Mm. That's awesome. I'm impressed. Uh, okay. You know, according to the arrival schedule, there should be one last ship arriving at Rito today. But the Iridori Festival is coming to an end. Who would be showing up now? 
good question. Oh, it's almost time. Let's go to the harbor and take a look. Didn't turn up this late in the festival. Oh! Traveler Paimon, nice to see you again. Hey, yo, baby boo. <laughs> Here representing Watatsumi Island's administration. We were invited as individuals. Things are quiet in Watatsumi Island at the moment, and I wanted to buy some books. So I decided to make the trip here. Goro was not greatly interested in the Irodori Festival, but he said if I was going to Rito, he would join me. Good, because I missed your face. Her Excellency is traveling outside of Watatsumi Island and also meeting her pen pal today. As her general, it is my duty to ensure her safety at every turn. Pen pal? Who's your pen pal? Pen pal? Yes, we started corresponding just recently. My pen pal and I share very similar tastes in light novels, and we always have a lot of interesting thoughts to share. Of course, there are also times when we fiercely disagree. Since we were both coming to the Irodori Festival this time, we decided to take the opportunity to hold a book review session and discuss our views on various novels in more depth. Mm. Sounds pretty professional! Hey, since you both like novels, why don't you try writing one together? Who knows, maybe you'll shake things up on the Inazuman literary scene! <laughs> <laughs> That's a very interesting idea. It's almost time. Goro and I must go to meet my pen pal at the agreed upon location. Kokumi, Paimon's super curious about this pen pal of yours. Can Paimon come with you? Don't worry, Paimon will just watch from a distance and won't interrupt anything. Hmm, let me think. Yes, I think it should be fine for you two to come with me. Alright, let's go together. Yay! If it's Miko, I'm so done. <laughs> <laughs> this is the meeting spot. Huh, there's no one else around. It looks like we're early. My, my. Ah. Who have we here? <laughs> Come on, I need this. <laughs> what is. <laughs> oh, man, I strike again. <laughs> <laughs> that was great! I'm so glad I caught that. Oh no, Paimon hadn't counted on running into Miko. She and Kokomi are on different sides, and they also believe in different gods. That doesn't mean they can't get along. Oh, are they gonna end up having a fight? No. Lady Guji of the Grand Narukami Shrine. No wonder. I was just wondering where that air of superiority was coming from. <laughs> this is gonna be funny. This is gonna be great, actually. <laughs> if it isn't the leader of Watatsumi Island, who looks as soft as a jellyfish, but whose words sting like one, too. Ah, now I understand the jellyfish elemental skill. Hello. Nice to meet you, fried tofu with all the frills. <laughs> oh, the pleasure is all mine, soul of the deep. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is gonna be... This is gonna be entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's going on here? Miko is Kokomi's pen pal? No, it can't be. Look at them. Clearly they already knew each other. Does that mean... This so-called meeting of pen pals is just the cover-up? Hmm? Whatever are you talking about? I don't understand. I'm simply here for the book review session with Miss Soul of the Deep. Let's go. The venue for this meeting is in the Kanjo Commission headquarters up there. The view is excellent, making it a perfect place to drink tea and discuss creative ideas. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't stop laughing at the fact that Goro just abandoned the priestess. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, poor baby. Who holds a book review in the Kanjo Commission? You seriously expect anyone to believe that? You're not here to talk about shaking up the Inazuma literary scene. You're here to talk about shaking up things in Inazuma as a whole. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Watatsumi Island will soon hold formal talks with the Shogunate on Inazuma's future development. It's essential to have an informal meeting like this one before the formal talks begin. Right, especially with someone outside of the Shogunate like myself, who is in a good position to test out where each party draws the lines. But this is just our first meeting. It's a little too early to announce it to the general public. Huh. Okay then. By the way, where is your general? Didn't you say he would be joining you? <laughs> huh, that's right. Where did Goro go? He ran off a minutes ago. <laughs> Goro went to buy some books for me. He won't be attending the book review. <laughs> Yo, wait, hang on. If you knew you were meeting with Miko, why did you bring Goro? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a pity. I was rather looking forward to seeing his fluffy ears again. Oh, she loves this. <laughs> Traveler, uh, I'd like to talk to you for a moment. What's up? Hmm. I have been getting the sense that Goro does not like having to deal with Guji Yai. So I was initially reluctant to bring him to Rita with me this time. I noticed he instinctively hid as soon as he saw her just now. <laughs> However, Goro has a strong sense of responsibility and will feel ashamed when he next sees me. So I would like to give him the task of buying some books for me to make things easier for him. Oh, <laughs> it's cute. But Goro rarely buys anything. So, as a favor from me, I'd like to ask you to accompany him. Sure, leave it to me. Kokomi, you focus on the meeting with Miko. Leave the books to us and Goro. Yay, another hangout event with Goro. Thank you. I made a list of the books I'd like to buy. Please, pass it on to Goro. No problem. <laughs> shopping list, let's see. Oh, there he is. <laughs> a shopping list of books compiled by Kokomi, all genres. All the genres, unit prices, and amount of the books she desires have been. Oh. Well, that's the Divine Priestess wonderful. for you. Surely enough to convince Goro? anyone to become a wanderer. You okay, buddy? Oh, 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 it's you. Uh, I, I wasn't expecting you know who to show up. Oh, it, it completely caught me by surprise. <laughs> I had no idea what to say to her. Next thing I knew, I'd apparently already taken cover. Aww, <laughs> he's so traumatized by her. <laughs> I came here to ensure the safety of her excellency, but now I'm useless. I've become a burden instead. Nope. We have a mission for you. Goro, don't be so hard on yourself. Actually, Kokomi asked us to give you a very important task. Hmm. <laughs> oh, her Excellency's purchase list. Got it. This is how Her Excellency wants me to make up for my mistakes. No problem. Just leave it to me. Ugh. That self duty righteousness. Why? Goro, let us come with you. We can show you around the Iridori Festival. Oh, thank you so much. No problem. Buy the books. Okay. <laughs> Ta-da! There is a children's storybook on this list called Night at Mount Yogo. I think this is the stand where it's being sold. Night at Mount Yogo, huh? A children's storybook? Yes, it's for the children of Watatsumi Island. 
Her Excellency says that this book is simply written and very useful for learning new words. Huh. Hello. I'll take f five copies of Night at Mount Yogo, please. Thank you for your patronage. Wow, you're a lucky customer. There's a coupon in one of the books you just bought, which entitles you to a free gift. Aww. Wow, Coral got a free gift! That's amazing! Cool. Here you go. A toy box. It's all yours. <laughs> what? Uh, <clears throat> a toy fox? <laughs> Are you okay? The hair on your tail is standing on end. Oh! I'm fine. Thanks for the gift. <laughs> I think we're gonna end up taking the toy bag. Could you maybe uh, l look after the toy for me? Are you sure? Yes. Uh, as a thank you gift for coming with me to buy the books. <laughs> Precious baby. Uh, seems like Goro still hasn't recovered from seeing Nico. Nope. Okay, uh, next up, uh, this isn't the focus of this trip, but let's go buy a light novel. It says on the list that Her Excellency had an editor called Onodera purchase the latest issue of A Legend of Sword for her in advance. Well, we'd better not keep him waiting too long. I gotta read that book. Oh, we know him! We'll lead the way! I gotta read that one because I have, like, no idea why this one's so popular. <laughs> Aww, he's so cute. Uh, oh no, there, there you are. Don't miss the official stall of the Yai Publishing House. Excuse me, are you Mr. Onodera? I'm here to pick up the new issue of A Legend of Sword for Soul of the Deep. Hello there. Yes, I have the book right here. I heard Soul of the Deep is the VIP of the Iridori Festival, but I couldn't make it here in time for the signing event due to the shipping schedule. Ah. Uh. Oh, uh, also, if you have these books available, uh, please give me one of each. Thank you. All right, let me see. Oh my goodness, it's your lucky day today, sir. Why? You are the hundredth reader to buy the saga Hamavarin. That entitles you to receive a special edition version with a review personally written by Lady Yai herself. <laughs> oh, are you serious? You can't escape from her. <laughs> are you okay? You don't look very well. I... I... Fine. Thank you for the books. Her ex... <clears throat> uh, Soul of the Deep asked me to buy this book after all. I'm sure she'll be very happy to receive a special version with the chief editor's review. <laughs> uh... <laughs> does not look like he's enjoying this at all. Paimon doesn't know if he's lucky or unlucky. <laughs> think oh, about one other thing. Because of the amount of your purchase, you're able to enter the Yai Publishing House's lucky draw. Please come with me, right this way. I think he's a little bit of both. Go to the raffle machine. Okay. Sir, please take your lucky draw whenever you are ready. Just turn the handle and a prize ball will come out. Maybe today's your lucky day. Come on, Goro. Go for it. With the rate that this is going, I feel like he's going to end up um, meeting Yayumiko. Let me see. Huh? Oh, wow. Incredible. You got the golden ball. Oh what's my goodness. The prize? Yeah, what's the prize? <laughs> The grand prize is a full collection of each light novel published by Yai Publishing House. Mm. Not only is the prize awarded personally by Lady Yai, but you will also have the chance to shake hands and take a photo with her to commemorate the occasion. <laughs> what? Not only do I have to meet her, but I have to shake her hand and take a photo with her too? <laughs> Goro, hang in there. What? This guy won the Yai Publishing House's grand prize? Wow, that's so lucky! An entire set of all their light novels. That's worth a lot of money. Ah, uh, um, excuse me, ma'am. Could we discuss this? I don't actually want the light novels. Huh? You mean you want to give up the prize? Yo, we'll take it. Goro, don't give up your prize. If you don't want to see Miko, that's fine. We'll figure something out. No, uh, that's not what I meant. 
I'm not giving up the prize, and uh, I can cope with the ceremony and the <clears throat> the picture taking. <laughs> Poor baby, he's suffering inside. We all know this. <laughs> but I have a request. I would like to ask Yai Publishing House to change the prize from light novels to books on agricultural science of equivalent value. Hmm. Agricultural science. Yes. The land in Watatsumi Island is quite barren and always yields a poor grain harvest. We've been looking for new ways to improve the residents' lives. One of her ex, uh, Soul of the Deep's core objectives for the Iridori Festival was to purchase some works on crop cultivation and aquaculture. Aquaculture, not agriculture. I see what they did there. If I can get these books as my prize instead, we can save a lot of money, and Soul of the Deep can buy some other useful resources too. I see. I understand your request, but I don't have the authority to grant it. Lady Yai will have to have the final say. That's not good. That is so not good. I will contact Lady Yai now. Please wait for our reply at the Five Costume Plaza. Depending on the situation, Lady Yai might need to negotiate this matter with you further in person. Okay. Understood. Hmm. You took that really real. You took that rather well. Yeah. Time to go. Nope, sorry, people. Uh, uh, oh, on the other side. Goro, that was pretty brave of you. You clearly don't like having to deal with Nico, but you still agreed to the ceremony and even made your own demands. You think so? I guess I got a burst of courage when I thought about Her Excellency's orders and the people of Watatsumi Island. I am the general of Watatsumi Island's armed forces. How can I let something like this defeat me? I'm ready now. I feel like I'm back on the battlefield. Even if Yaimiko does come to negotiate with me, I won't let myself be pressured by her. <laughs> we'll see about that. Oh, that was cute. You still look pretty nervous though, Goro. Oh, <laughs> well... Probably because I just realized she might make a cunning counter request just to toy with me. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Sorry for keeping you all waiting. Oh. How did it go? What did Guji Yai say? <laughs> Lady Yai has agreed to your request to swap the light novels for books on agricultural science. That's great! But? Additionally, Lady Yai says that she will include a few extra works. Considering your intended use for those books, you may accompany me to Yai Publishing House's warehouse to select your preferred books. I believe your return ship leaves tomorrow night. We will package the selected books and take them directly onto the ship for you. You'll package the books? Then, what about the ceremony? Hmm. Lady Yai said selecting the books may take up a lot of your time and energy. To ensure you have fond memories of the Iridori Festival, she decided to cancel the ceremony. Well, that's nice of her. Although, she did leave you a letter. You can read it on your own time. Oh, dear. <laughs> I didn't think Yai Miko would cancel the ceremony. Huh. I was so convinced that she would try and make a fool out of me. Now it seems like I was overly suspicious of her. Did you have your right to be overly suspicious of her with what you've been through? <laughs> Anyway, I'll go with the editor to pick the books now. I won't trouble you guys anymore. Well, we'll see you after. Oh, uh, hey, back. We'll see you tomorrow night. Great. See you tomorrow night. <laughs> I wonder what she said in the letter. Oh, excuse me. Oh, we're here? Yeah. What'd you say? <laughs> What'd you say? Mm. Traveler Paimon, thank you for coming to see us off. How was your trip to Rito? Very worthwhile. The book review session was a big success, and I feel very positive about the forthcoming talks. Goro also made a great contribution. He procured a whole batch of useful books for Watatsumi Island. Uh, I may have won the prize, but ultimately, it was Yaimiko who gave us all these books for free. 
if I have the chance in the future, I must thank her properly. Now, oh, you sure you can handle that? Speaking of, didn't Yaimiko send you a letter yesterday? What did it say? Oh, it, I, I almost forgot. I'll read it now. <laughs> Dear Goro, I suppose you must have been extremely nervous when you heard about the prospect of the award ceremony and the photo. It came as a surprise indeed to learn that not only did you accept those conditions, you also made your own demands. Your courage has won my respect. Mm. Those books are a token of my goodwill to Watatsumi Island, and also my gift to you. I do hope you like them. Mm. Ah, yes, I'm sure that by this point you must be feeling ever so grateful for my kindness and are looking for a way to repay me, yes? Here it is. Well, here's your chance. Here we go. <laughs> Yai Publishing House will host an event next month, and we are looking for someone to dress up as a character from a light novel and interact with the fans. Oh, no! <laughs> Goro, you are not only patient, but also very beautiful. Why don't you come and help us? I'll prepare a tailor-made outfit. Just for you. Oh, here we go. I need to see this. Oh, and by the way, it'll be a woman's outfit. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. I knew it. I knew she was up to something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love these two. All right, so that's the end of the Iridori Festival. The end of this lovely and adventurous, mysterious event that Hoyoverse has delightfully given the players. So thank you guys so much for watching this um, event, watching me play this event. I had so much fun playing it and reacting and <laughs> following all the clues. And I can't wait. For the next installment, so I hope you guys are the same, because I sure is am looking forward to new one, to the new update. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye bye.